Hey guys, it's uh, Bob here again. I hope y'all are doing all right. Um, see, today is um, uh, Wednesday. Um, so another day, another day. Gotta take it a day at a time, but um, we're definitely getting close, guys. Um, I think we are a lot closer than uh, most people realize. Um, I mean, we could be any time from now to, I mean, basically any time now. That's how close. Um, okay, and so this morning it just dawned on me. I believe, um, you know, now, now we're in this Passover right now. This is, I believe this is an extremely high watch. And honestly, I, I believe, um, you know, between Good Friday and Easter Sunday, those those three days, the three days, I believe those are extremely high watch, like extremely, extremely high watch. Um, and yeah, it, and I want to let y'all know. Yesterday, I um, like the past few days, like I haven't been having much really attacks or even dreams. Like thing things have just really almost settled down, died out. Like there's just like hardly nothing. Now yesterday, I remember having a slight. It was like, I believe a slight dream. Um, it might have even been a, a, a vision while I was waking up, but I can't, you know, I can't remember in vivid detail, but it was really short. So I remember what it was about. And it, it was about my, uh, you know, our pet rabbit. He passed back in October, 2016, our pet rabbit coffee. And, um, and in this, like a really short dream, I remember seeing him coffee or, you know, our rabbit, he, he's passed. I remember seeing him, like about um, it was like th almost like there were three of him, and I remember when I woke up, I was like, did I just see you know coffee like three times, like almost, and I thought I remember maybe petting him, and he was like, like three of him, and they were near each other, I'm like that's weird, and then later it dawned on me, I was like, hmm, three, like I was thinking, why three rabbits? I'm like, oh my, we're coming up to actually. Easter, you know, the Easter rabbit, everyone, oh, Easter bunny, Easter rabbit, and like three, I'm like, wait, that, you know, you know, between Good Friday, Easter Sunday, three days, the three days in Lord Jesus rose after, you know, after his death, after the crucifixion, and um, I'm like, three, three rabbits, Easter, I'm like, man, is the Lord pointing me to like the time period, you know, near Easter, so like, between Good Friday and Easter, like that time period, and I believe he very well could be. Um, I believe that's why he was like letting me know. Maybe that's like a high watch period. Um, those three days. Um, I think it's that's very high watch. And then last night, I remember. I can't remember if I had just woken up, but I know at some point I looked at the clock and it was. It was a dead on. It was three o'clock, three a.m. in the morning. It was three a.m. I'm like, and I'm like, think I'm like three. I'm like, you know, I'm seeing that again. I'm like three. I'm like, man, it's making me think of those three days. Um. So yeah, I think that could be a very high watch period where we could be leaving. And when you think about it, um, you know, a lot of people, they um. You know, yeah, the Lord, he, he could come, he could get us on any day. It's not like he's restrained to any day, but a lot of people believe it will be on a, you know, feast day during a feast period, um, during one of the Jewish feasts. And that's what a lot of people think. And, you know, those are a lot of, you know, high watch periods. And, a lot, you know, a lot of people also think it's got to be on like a feast that hasn't had a, um, you know, fulfillment of a New Testament event. Um... So they think it will, it will need to be on a feast that hasn't had a fulfillment of, you know, an event that occurred during the New Testament. Um, and so as we know, you know, the Passover, you know, the Jewish, the Passover, that was fulfilled in the uh, New Testament by, um, you know, G Jesus' um, resurrection from the dead. He was the, um, you know, he's the Passover lamb for, you know, for the world's sins. He died for uh, the, the whole world. He's a redeemer of mankind, and um, so his his death and resurrection that fulfilled the um, you know the Jewish Passover. Um, 
but I was thinking if if the Lord you know um, raptures us during Passover that would be three events so we've had two occur that would be three the third one would be the rapture and what does three represent? Three, it represents completeness. It's not as full completeness as the number seven. To the Lord, the number seven is like full, full completeness. But three is completeness. And that got me thinking, I'm like, man, if we're raptured out of here in this time period, that would be like the three events. Jewish Passover, Jesus' um, death and resurrection. And the third, let's say if it was the rapture, that would be three events. Three represents completeness. I'm like, man, like, I think the Lord maybe, said, you know, let me know something. Um, like, I believe we could be leaving very soon. Um, you know, I'm not saying the day or the hour. I'm just saying, you know, that what's the next few days coming up is just very, uh, very high watch time period. Um, so that, that three, like completeness, it's got me thinking, um, and um, so, yeah, I want to let y'all know about that. And also, there was something else. I I, I wasn't gonna make a video, but right, you know, I'm since I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and mention it. So on um, I I don't know if I mentioned this in the past, but um, back in 2016, it was October. I believe we had just entered October. If I remember right, it may have actually been October 1st. And so I was at Walmart, and um in the produce area and then in this this kind of this middle aged to older black gentleman approach kind of like a suit he had a hat on and he's like and, and he was um he started asking he's like and I remember he's like you know I'm not a you know a thief a crook I'm you know I'm not none of those he's like I'm um I believe he said I'm staying with my wife at a hotel and then um you know I was nervous I'm a pretty shy person and he could tell like he knew right away it was really weird he's like He's like, look at my eyes, you know, focus on my eyes, listen to me carefully, you know, listen, listen to me carefully, L look at my eyes, like it was weird, like it felt like there was something different about this guy, and he, um, he's like, he's like, he's like me and my, um, I believe he said him and his wife, we we're, were staying at a hotel, and he's like, I have, um, $22, I need, um, um, I need to get to 40, so I need like 18 more. He's like, you know, could, could you possibly help out or whatever? So he said like 22, he needs 18 more to get to $40. I was like, yeah, sure. I, I told him, I'm like, I can't give you 18, but I can give you, um, you know, I'll, and he's like, yeah, any amount's fine. And so I gave him five and, um, and pretty much that was, um, again, he even, he's like, oh, just so you know, I don't, I'm, you know, I'm not lying. He's like, here's my, uh, you know, my Alabama license like to show he was traveling or whatever from out of state and he showed me it was a yeah it was an Alabama license and um I thought it was weird and then that's pretty much I gave him you know and he pretty much left after that and I thought it was um you know there was something different about the guy like like he can he knew I was nervous almost like he knew who I was and that he wanted me to pay attention to his you know look him in the eyes because um like he wanted me to listen to him carefully he said that like listen to me closely or carefully like he wanted me to know and honestly I backed in I felt that could have been an angel almost giving me some sort of message or something like about the the 22 and then the 18 more to get the 40 because 40 is a big number in the bible that that's um the um the um like 40 like the time of testing um, when the, um, the original, the, um, Israelites that had, um, you know, when Moses led them out of Egypt, you know, most of them were not worthy except for, um, I believe those two. And so the, um, Mo they were led through the desert until that, that whole gener that whole generation, that whole line died, except for those two who were found worthy by the Lord to enter into the promised land. So 40 years, it's, it's a big number. It's like a, almost like a period of testing. And so, 
and that when I that God, I'm like, man, if that was an angel, like I felt he could have been letting me know something. I couldn't really figure it out, other than I'm like, okay, the 40 may be this time period of testing we're in, and we got us so x amount of time to get to that 40, and then we're done with the testing, and we're out of here. We're gonna be raptured up. So, and and, and so here's the crazy thing. So this um, Palm Sunday that just occurred, Sunday, Palm Sunday, I was at the grocery store. So back in October when this guy approached me, it was in Walmart. So this time I was in the, uh, at Kro the Kroger grocery store. So it wasn't even the same store. Um, and so I was in the, um, I was in the, uh, the store. And the thing is I had just entered one of the, I'd say least busy aisles in the store, the magazine aisle with the cooking pans and stuff. Usually not many people there, if, if any. And so I had, in I had just entered that aisle and um, walked about maybe like a quarter down the aisle, you know, in my car. And then from behind, I hear like a, a voice, young man, like it was, a, it had authority, but it wasn't threatening, but it was like almost authority. Like this guy was someone with like, almost like authority. It's like young man. And I look around and it's the same, the same black man from six months ago back in October 2016, the same exact guy, and I knew right away it was him, by his face, and he had the same hat, but this time he was holding the hat in his hand, last time he had his hat on, this time he was holding it, and I knew right away when I saw his face in that hat, I'm like, this is the same guy, and I'm like, hey, I remember you, <laughs> like, I pretty much, like, hardly any hesitation, I'm like, I remember you, and the, the guy, he comes up to me, and he was like, yeah, he's like, he, or he was like, um, oh, uh, from where? or something, and I was like, oh, Walmart, and he's like, where, like, like, I, and I was like, well, Walmart, and he's like, oh, or, or yeah, he's, and he was like, he, and he seemed to acknowledge, he was like, oh, oh, yeah, 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 he seemed to acknowledge remembering me, and, um, he, um, you know, I think he had asked me how I'd been, or something, I think, and I think he said, oh, they, they settled down, maybe, like they settled down, maybe like saying him as wife or something. They settled down now. And he was like, yeah, I, I recognized you. I just wanted to say hello. Or, you know, I saw you. I wanted to say hello. And he's like, oh, well, you know, what, what's your name? And I'm like, oh, uh, Robert. And then he, um, you know, he put out his hand for me to shake it. And so I, sh I shook his hand. And I, um, I asked him, you know, well, what's your name? And he said, uh, Ricky. So his name was Ricky. And then he, um. And then pretty much after that, he was like, oh, okay, okay, I'll see you later or something. Or And he and he just left, or, you know, went back down the entrance of the aisle he had come from and then turned the corner as I, I watched it and he just, just left. I didn't, and I didn't follow him or anything, but I'm like, man, like that is the same exact guy I saw back in October, um, 2016. Now, yes, I guess he could have been. Um, you could say he could have been a, uh, like, like a con artist, but no, there was something about this guy. It was just way too coincidental. I just entered one of the least traveled aisles and this guy just whoops, um, comes up from behind me. Young man. Like, how did he know he was, I was a young man unless he had been like watching me in the, you know, in the back. And so I think it honestly could be an angel that had um, just appeared essentially and when I you know I wouldn't have seen him he would have appeared behind me and probably would have appeared in the aisle where no one else would see him out of the main you know main main way um, so yeah I think that could have been an angel honestly and um, and the thing is that guy showed up on when did that guy show up? He showed up, yeah, back in, it was like, I believe it was October 1st, 2016, and that month was when we had the, uh, the fall feast, so feast of trumpets, um, day of atonement, feast of tabernacles, fell in October that year, so, um, that guy showing up, and then now he showed up on Easter Sunday, so I'm like, that's crazy, <laughs> the same, some Easter Sunday, and so I think that's another thing, like Easter Sunday the week before Easter I'm like man is this like you know is the Lord letting me know something like we're that close because previously he showed up right before the uh, the fall feasts and then now this time he shows up on Easter Sunday I'm like is the Lord you know he could be letting me know something that we're extremely close and that's what I think 
if that guy is in a, uh, is if he isn't, if he wasn't angels, I think he probably was. Um, so I believe the Lord's letting me know we're, we're very, very close. Um, so yeah, guys, I just wanted to update y'all about that. Um, and the thing is, there, there are, I mean, the Bible's clear about that. You, you gotta be, you know, you gotta be, um, you know, you gotta be cautious. You, you could be in the presence of angels unaware. Like, you may, you don't know who to, you're in the presence of. So, and the, and the Lord will do that. He'll, um, send out his angels to do his work, to see who's doing his will, to, um, it, it's, 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 well, it's, it's in the Bible that happens. Where you'll have angels interacting with humans, um, even if they're not aware. I mean, so, guys, yeah, I want to let y'all know about that. Um, this time between Good Friday, Easter Sunday, it's gonna be very high watch. Um, and um, as usual, guys, just stay in the Word of God. Uh, stay focused on the Lord keeping the word it keeps us separate from all of this because this is you know this is finished so there's no point you know being a part of this world once we've come out of it you do not want to return back into it um so just stay focused on lord jesus very important um he, he's he's gonna pull us out of here very soon um so i'm just i'm tired of this i know y'all are wore out and tired of it and it's, um, I just get this sense of, like, completion where we're basically done here. Um, like, very, just, it's just done. I, I just don't see much more, um, you know, what, what else I'm supposed to do here. Like, I've never felt right here, guys. I mean, I've never, from a young age, it just always felt weird. I was kind of more, you know, always a loner, very quiet, shy. I've always been a pretty shy person, except when I was extremely young, and then later I, um, became very shy and so I've never felt right here like something was not right about what this all was and before the Lord woke me up that that's how I felt like something just wasn't right like I never felt like I fit in and when the Lord woke me up like about um was it two three years ago around that time period you know I found the Lord accepted Jesus in my life it opened my eyes a lot of strange you know things started happening a lot of dreams all sorts of stuff events I've had weird things occur. He's just opened my eyes to where it's like I can see. And um, and he's just let me know. It's like, you know, as we get closer and closer, and I believe we're just at this, um, you know, time. Um, oh, yeah, there was one other thing. To go along with the, the whole, the possibility of us being out of here, like, really soon. Um, like, very soon. Um, there was also... Um, yeah, back about, it was like about a month and a half, two months ago, I would say. And I think I had mentioned that dream where about the car parked in the front and the tires were deflated. The four tires on the car to different levels and the rims were um, deformed to different levels. I believe that. Lord was kind of letting me know the condition of each of the, or, you know, the people in our household. My family members, including me. I believe that's why he was letting me know. And then as I entered the door from that dream... Um, I was entering, it felt like someone was approaching, I was like, I gotta get inside, like, something bad's coming, I think I remember, um, I, I believe the Holy Spirit saying, the hour has come, or the, I, the final hour has arrived, something like that, the hour has come, and, um, and I remember, I believe in that video, I let y'all know, that Jesus, um, you know, soon before he was delivered up, when he was at that feast and the, the, the Gentile Greeks were there and he, he had said the, basically the hour has come for, you know, son of man to be delivered up, you know, and, um, I believe that that's in the book of John, I believe chapter 12 and, um, and yeah, I'm just thinking about that. Like if, if the Lord was on, you know, the hour has come we're in this like final like hour like we're very close and that was like a month and a half two months ago when I had that dream so for in this final hour I was thinking well if the, when the Lord said that what was the final hour leading up to it was leading up to his um ultimately his resurrection 
when he said, you know, it is done, like, it is done, when, when he, when he, um, or, well, the crucifixion, and then the resurrection three days later, but when he had died on the cross, he said, like, it is done, so, it is done, what he came here to do was complete, and he resurrected three later, three days later, and so I believe when the Lord was letting me know in that dream about saying the hour has, you know, the final hour has come, I believe he may have been pointing me towards this time period now, good between Good Friday and uh, Easter, some somewhere in that time period. Um, so that's just another thing I was thinking about. It just, you know, dawned on me this morning that, man, I, you know, it could be the Lord may let me let me know during this 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 um passover during easter like that time period we could be leaving so guys yeah i just want to let y'all know about that um stay strong keep your eyes on jesus christ um constantly repent and um just keep your eyes up up in the sky because our redemption draweth nigh i'll catch y'all later and i'll probably be seeing y'all soon i think goodbye guys goodbye